It is Luis Severino on the mound for the Yankees. As Kipnis strikes out. So uh, the result is that, uh, you know, all of a sudden there's an angry mob if you're the Indians. It was a very calm place 15 minutes ago. Yeah, they are amped up and they want to see a rematch of Kluber and their beloved Yankees. There's a slider and it starts in the middle of the zone and ends up in the zone. That's how good that pitch was. And he finally gets Bradley. Second strike after Severino. He buries the slider down. And this time, Brantley couldn't stay off of it. You know, the hardest thing for a young pitcher, at least it was for me, it took me three years, four years maybe, to recognize whether a hitter was on my fastball or not. It is the hardest thing for me to see phys physically on the mound. I had to see it in the video. Only three American leaguers struck out more during the regular season. Luis Severino with three strikeouts in two innings already tonight. After the wild card hiccup. Yeah, I'd say. That's four strikeouts for Severino tonight. Strikes out Jason Kipnis for the second time tonight. And the 2 2. Struck him out swinging fastball up. 0 2. Struck him out swing slider. Seven strikeouts. Now for Severino. Strike three is called outside corner. And there are two ways. That's the eighth strikeout for Seve. And Severino working quickly, and you think he wants to finish this inning? He doesn't want Joe Girardi coming out, bringing out anybody else. This guy's electric. Sky three is called. So there are two away. And he knew it. Chisholm just walked right, right back to the dugout. Here we go on three and two. On the ground is shortstop. Gregorius to Berg. And Luis Severino's night is complete. And that's how the top of the seventh ends. No runs, one hit, one left. At the end of six and a half, it's seven three Yanks. Uh, it was important to me, you know, last time, you know, I gave to one out. Uh, when I gave one to three, and I was, you know, uh, so I was feeling happy. Uh, I know that, that I got uh, to to get my best stuff over there today because, you know, I want to get to uh, game five. So I was doing great. You know, I hear the, you know, the stadium calling my name. So, you know, I know that I got to go over there and get that extra, you know, that, that, I, that I have, that I work all the year. So, you know, I just want to go over there, you know, try to have fun and, and help the team win. And I think part of it is is the steps that I've seen him take this year. You know, you expect players to take that next step. And he has continued to do it all year. And, you know, I told him af after the game he grew up a lot today, you know, because you think about he's starting to get tired after six innings. It's the part of the lineup that's given him the trouble, and he was able to get that extra inning, which I thought was really important for our bullpen. And, and, and to me, that's, that's, that's growing up. And I think he was able to relax a lot more. He was able to control his adrenaline. Uh, I believe the first fastball we saw against him, for him against Minnesota, was 100. And maybe the first one was 96 tonight. And he was able to, you know, channel things down and make his pitches as opposed to just trying to power his way through it. Brett, what was the difference you saw in Severino tonight? Well, I mean, uh, for him, it's all about fastball command. I mean, his, his off-speed stuff is so good. He's got a 91-mile-an-hour slider. He's got a really good changeup. He throws 100 all game long. And for him, it's just a matter of spotting up that fastball and getting ahead in the count, not falling behind too often. And uh, he was able to do that tonight.